My name is Bernd Lüderitz. I'm professor of medicine, cardiology at the University of Bonn. And I've been invited here uh, to this distinguished symposium in order to give a lecture on the history of anticoagulant uh, substances. And I gave this by talking and mentioning that everything started with Hippocrates in ancient Greece. He already used salicylate um, as a remedy against rheumatism and uh, other diseases. Uh, then later on, Aristotle, the teacher of Alexander the Great, uh, gave uh, some idea concerning special fibers uh, indicating coagulation and then a great step to uh, yeah, Giovanni Battista Morgandi from Italy, from Forli, because here was probably the first indicating um, <coughs> a coagulation and a clot and he really coined the term uh, embolism. When we go further, I mentioned uh, Laennec, uh, René Hyacinthe Théophile Laennec from France, who was the first who described pulmonary embolism. And uh, then, uh, you know probably um, Laennec as the inventor of the stethoscope. And then I went further to Rudolf Virchow. Virchow was from Germany and he defined the prerequisites for embolism. And that means in detail he developed the famous uh, triangle consisting of alterations of blood that, and the composition of blood, alterations of blood flow, and finally alterations of blood vessel. These are the three aspects um, obligatory, according to Rudolf Virchow, for thrombosis. And then I moved to therapy and mentioned the first important step. These were leeches, small animals. They, while suckling, they deliver saliva, which has uh, anticoagulant potence. And one of the most important person under these circumstances is um, Joseph Francois Brousset from Paris. Uh, there is a hospital, a famous hospital named after him. He imported millions of leeches in order to treat the patients. And he was so called the Pope of leeches. But then the chemical period started and I mentioned um, Felix Hoffmann. Felix Hoffmann is regarded as the inventor of aspirin at the Bayer company, but he was not the true inventor, but it was uh, probably Arthur Eichengrün, a Jewish person who was long time ignored by the company, also by the German society and politics but he wrote in his memories the truth. Now, uh, Felix Hoffmann signed the first patent from 1890s, and uh, then uh, in the year 1900, the first US patent was approved. And uh, at this occasion, it was discussed that aspirin comes from the Egyptian willow a tree. Uh, the Latin uh, name is Salix alva, and for this is salicylate 
derived. And uh, in the first German advertising, there is also an uh, Egyptian mummy uh, depicted in order to show the relation between uh, aspirin and the Egyptian willow. Then later on, particularly in the United States, was first aspirin regarded as a remedy which does not affect the heart. But later on, uh, the wonderful and helpful activity in myocardial diseases was detected in so far that was an interesting step from does not affect the heart to the aspirin breakthrough which was published 1988 in the journal Newsweek. So besides these I mentioned that uh, J. McLean found in the dog liver uh, anticoagulant called heparin. Hepa in Latin is the liver, liver and from this name heparin is taken and it took a long time until uh, warfarin was isolated. This happened uh, 1941, based on the sweet clover disease, which happened 1922 in Alberta, Canada, and then 1933, uh, a dead cow and blood that would not clot was uh, discovered, and the name Warfarin comes from Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation and Coumarin. This is the name and the institution which supported the research of Paul Link, who isolated warfarin, uh, first of all, as a rat killer, a killer of rodents, uh, rats and mouses. And uh, later on, it was used in men, but in another dosage, of course. And warfarin became famous as the American president, Dwight D. Eisenhower, suffered from myocardial infarction in uh, 1954. Uh, nine, excuse me, 1950, yeah, what was 1955? And he was um, treated, successfully treated with warfarin. And interestingly, also his counterpart, Stalin, also had the same disease and got warfarin, but there was a rumor at that time that somebody tried to poisoning him slowly. Okay, these are